did you know you can have more control over certain skills? Well now you do, because in this video, I go over 8 things that aren't so apparent in the game. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am I does this. There's only a few more days until the game is released. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. Anywho, let's get it. The first tip that you may not have known, is that you could have more control over certain skills within the game. For example, the Technomancer's Scrapnel skill. If you hold down the button to use the skill for a couple of seconds then release it, it brings up an arc that shows you where that Scrapnel will land. You can also cancel using this skill when doing this. This gives you control for more precise Scrapnel throws instead of just randomly pressing the skill and hoping it lands where you want it to. As for the Trickster's Hunt the Prey skill, where you teleport behind enemies, you can choose which enemy to teleport behind. The second tip is to do with auto looting system. In the options menu, you can choose which rarity of loot you would like auto looted if you don't want to loot things manually. This will auto loot anything that is on the ground when you die or transition into a cutscene. But you can also press down on the d-pad of your controller to auto loot anything that is on the ground. At this point, I press down on my d-pad to auto loot what is on the ground. For the third tip, you can change over the shoulder view when aiming down sights if you press the left analog stick in. This is useful if you are behind cover like a wall or pillar and you want to peek shot because the view defaults to the right shoulder. If you switch to the left shoulder view, you can peek on the left side of the wall slash pillar instead of exposing yourself. Do note that if you do this while behind cover, for some reason it doesn't put you back into cover after you stop aiming down sights. Tip number 4. The melee in this game has a cooldown and I did not know for a while how long this cooldown was or when my melee would be available again to use. Until one day, for some reason after I used the melee, I looked down to the bottom left of my screen and noticed a grey icon with a timer. So yes, this is your melee icon and cooldown. Next tip, number 5. In the stats page of the inventory where it shows you your player stats, if you hover over a certain stat, it reveals a little more information about that stat. You can also hover over the resources icon and that shows you what it is used for and where you can obtain it. If you hover over the shards icon, it shows you how many of the certain shards you have acquired. Number 6. When you mark items for dismantle, if you hover over the dismantle marked icon on the bottom right, it shows you exactly what you will be getting from the items you've marked for dismantle. Lucky number 7. We're not so lucky if you are looking for legendary mods and your luck just sucks. But when you hover over a piece of weapon or armor, there is a little icon on the top right of the mod. This little icon tells you if you have that mod already in your collection. And finally, the infinite number 8. Some pieces of gear allow you to stack a certain mod for a skill, and some don't. If you see a red background and the little red box is stacked on top of each other, this means that the mod does not stack and will be a waste of a slot. And that is all 8 things that you may not have known you could do in the game. I hope I gave you some new found knowledge of the game. If you found this video to be educational and helpful, please support me by hitting the like button, subscribing and turning on notifications. Just do it! So you know when I post a new video. Thanks for watching. I does this.